Hey everybody! How's it going out there? Adapa11 here with another Star Wars review. This is a B-Wing fighter from the Power of the Jedi line released in 2001. It also includes a Solston pilot. Can't have too many Solston pilots, I believe, because I only have one, so I am lacking in that department. So, let's go ahead and review this. Before we do so, though, I want to take a look at the back of the box here and read the bio which is interesting I find I like the fact that this box or packaging as you can see has a diorama element to it inside you can possibly see the side here and the bottom so I like that that is really really cool um, also in the background you can see the Millennium Falcon taken off so we'll take a look at that but Let's read the back of this and check it out. Okay, so let's check this out. Here is the bio card on the bottom of the box. And as you can see here on the cutout card, it says here, model, B-Wing fighter, function, fighter, crew, one pilot, weapons, standard configuration, one laser cannon, three fire-linked ion cannons, and proton torpedo launcher. Power source, one quad x Cairo master engine and underneath the card there we read here combining heavy firepower with versatility the b-wing assault craft played a significant role in the rebel alliance's attack on the second death star in return of the jedi diving in from all angles the b-wings used their power and precision to initiate devastating fire-linked ion cannon and proton torpedo strikes against the Imperial Armada. With the B-Wing's agility and the collective firepower of the entire Rebel Assault Fleet, the Alliance prevailed by destroying the Death Star and toppling the evil Empire. Very cool. And on the bottom here, we can see that it is worth 50 Hasbro or a Hasbro 50 Jedi Master Points. All the years I've used this, as an adult, I've only used those points once, and that was to get a bunch of um, um, prototype Boba Fetts. Okay, so over here, it's just uh, Star Wars Power of the Jedi. B-Wing Fighter includes Solston Pilot. The fate of the Star Wars universe is in your hands. From the Phantom Menace to a New Hope, the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. The Star Wars galaxy is filled with the greatest heroes, cruelest villains, and the most colorful characters ever created. And only Hasbro brings them all to life with detail and authenticity and fun. To see the full line of figures, vehicles, creatures, and playsets, check out StarWars.Hasbro.com. I'm sure since Disney has uh, purchased uh, the rights to Star Wars, that website might not function, but I don't know. Find out for yourself. Well, anyways, enough. Let's go on to the actual toy vehicle. Okay, so before we get started on the B-Wing, I suppose I should cover the diorama packet, the interior packaging. Um, thus far, I'm, I'm happy with it. Of course, you can see the drawbacks would be the um, plastic bubbles here. So I'll work later on getting these out. Um, the tape. That would be another issue, but not to despair. There was a tape, piece of tape right here and I uh, slowly peeled it off and only a small dot came off. So uh, it looks like if I can get the tape off here, I won't have to worry about having that tape look. And then over here uh, on the side, which you probably can't even tell, I can't even tell on the camera here, but there's some tape over here. So it's pretty cool. I actually like this background and the backdrop and whatnot. I dig it. So, all right, let's get on to the actual B-Wing fighter. Okay, so here is our Solston pilot. As you can see, it's, uh, the helmet does come off. It had to, I had to work it a little bit, but that's fine. So he does have a, oops, he does have a, a good mold. There we go. So look. I like the detail. I like having different species and, and whatnot in my collection. So I see this as a as a bonus. I think that's a really good mold. Though I don't have much 
many others to com actually one other to compare it to. So here are the here's the detail on the chest plate, helmet. Here's the back of the head, side of the helmet. You can see the hosing. Get this helmet back on here. It is uh, a bit of a work here getting this. Uh, I had to work getting it on, off. I'm I'm, I'm sorry. So uh, there we go. Okay, so we see him here. Five point articulation, swivel at the head, shoulders, bilateral, waist, oh, six point, sorry, and legs, hips. All right, so pretty cool. I'll add him to my pilot collection. I actually like pilots. I like uh, adding on to my pilots, so very happy about that. All right, let's get on to the B Wing. Okay, so here we have the B-Wing out of the package. Now, let's just start with the overall paint as we will take a view from the distance here. We can see the weather patterning where there seems to be some carbon scoring from laser lasers right here and whatnot. As you can see, I like that. Now, there is, as you can see, a streaking type of effect, paint effect that it has on the wings as well. And... Uh, these are stickers. So we can see here that the paint detail is, and this is a darker toned blue than the vintage collection. So I actually already like the fact that this is a darker, darker color. And it seems the paint detail is uh, more effective in my opinion. Now, we can see that the plastic for the pod is very clear. And it's just a bit different when you view it from the outside. Um, but there's a big difference on the inside of the cockpit, which we will get to shortly. So I just wanted to take a look at this from the front. Just kind of go over the paint and describe the difference between the vintage collection. B-Wing. Oh, the other... Um, difference between this and the Vintage Collection is that the Vintage Collection BC comes with uh, a switchable cannon or a projectile missile option. So, you, or yeah, it was the main cannon. This does not have that option. I actually, yep, I kept this one. It's a little bit different on my on the other B wing, but uh, yeah, the cannon here is different. So uh, let's uh, take a look at the back. Because of course I'll have to tell you or those of you who have not uh, or that are not familiar with this where the controls are. Okay, so as you can see from the back, we have uh, four thrusters, and one of these thrusters will open the wings. Oh, I better let's see if it's this one. Nope. Oh, here we go. The bottom right. So once you you spin this counterclockwise. Your B, your B wing will go into attack formation. I'm trying to look at both uh, my hands and the camera at the same time. So sorry there if we get out of view. So here we see uh, if you want attack formation. And this is a nice, okay, this is nice and smooth. This feels like a much harder plastic. Something else is, that, well, I believe that, I don't recall, it's been a couple years. But right now my other B wing foil sags and I believe it was sagging from the time I opened it but this is not sagging that much so thus far I don't know with time if this will wear and this will sag but we'll find out I unfortunately have never had an original uh, to compare it with with those but yeah this is really solid okay so let's pan back well I think that because of the camera here it's gonna be hard to get this in full view okay so here we are full attack formation you can see here that there's a or inside there's a gyro in the cockpit so it rotates 360 degrees 
360 degrees uh, with rotation of the craft. Oh, there we go. Let me back this up. Okay. So here we have it. Tack formation. And you can see, of course, the, the landing gear that's right here. There's a button or a lever. And here, this is uh, the other uh, mechanism for the landing gear. All right, well, let's, uh, since this camera angle is getting clumsy with me holding it and whatnot, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the inside of the... Okay, well, I uh, must, uh, must say that with all the goodness I have found in this, I have found the drawback uh, for this particular playset. And it's not necessarily the old school look and the stickers. That's fine with me, actually. Um, and yeah, there is no targeting system that comes out here. Again, that's fine. These are minimal and at least we have stickers here as you can see and they're on there. The thing that I don't like is that uh, th this doesn't really stay open at all and it would be nice if there it's some and it's loose. I don't know if you can see at the hinge point where it just seems to there we go that all that slack and there was no way that we could have it to where this may move forward. There's no room there for it to move forward and actually sit back a little bit because when it's open at the max, it's at an angle to where it's naturally just from gravity, it's going to come back down. So it would be nice if somehow, some way that this could just move forward. And if this could, well, plus that, there's the other drawback. <laughs> Yeah, it's weighted on either side, so I guess maybe uh, there's, unless they had some other mechanism they could put in there and or feature that would stop the gyro. Anyway, I guess I could see they'd add the costs. But anyways, there's the pros and cons with that. But let me open this back up just a little bit more and uh, take a look at the inside. You can see the control stickers and the chair and whatnot. All right, so let me get back into back this up into position. You can see there's no paint detail on the cannons. Now these look like they can come out. Gosh, I don't even know if I want. To. Oh, okay. So yeah, you push that and it comes out pretty easily. So I suppose if you you know you wanted to paint them, you would be able to not have much of a problem because you could just again pop it off, do your thing and then snap it back on there without having to worry about much overspray getting onto the body of the vehicle. So, uh, but that's not something I'm gonna do with this guy. Uh, I don't know why I call it, just call it a guy. I better watch out, I don't wanna end up working my own. Um, let me see, I'm already, probably should've left that on there. Ha, let me put that on there. Okay, got it back on there, not much problem getting it back. So, I mean, not much more to go through. You can see the detail. You could always pause the diorama pictures that I set up and take a look at the greater detail. I just wanted to give a brief explanation to the mechanisms and some differences between this one and the vintage collection. Again, you're free to go through my playlist and look in there and, and catch that review and take a look and, and make your own uh, comparisons. But I'm very happy with this. So to conclude, let me say this. It seems to me, and it feels that the plastic is more durable. It's not as soft as the um, plastic that I have noted in several of my vehicles from the vintage collection. For example, uh, the Y-Wing vintage collection, X-Wing Luke vintage collection from the Death Star Trench Run, and also uh, the B-Wing from the vintage collection. They have great sculpts and molds and paint jobs and details, but the, it's just a different plastic, slightly softer. This is a harder plastic. So I'm, I'm happy about that. And yeah, th yes, there is a little bit of, uh, of, sl uh, of slagging or of slagging of, uh, gosh, I can't find my word right now. It's droop, it's drooping right there, but nowhere near as bad as my, 
other one. So uh, I like it a lot, despite a couple of the setbacks. So I'd give this a good, uh, really solid 8.4, uh, you know, a, a, a B. I give it a good B. So uh, there you have it. Stay tuned for other reviews. I do have, at some point in time, other vehicles to review, such as Wedge and Tilly's uh, X-Wing Starfighter. And Luke's. That one, I don't know. That might be a while because I'm just not overly interested. And then we have the Republic Attack Shuttle. And then there's also the, the Thai Elite uh, TIE Interceptor. So I have a few vehicles to still go through and others that I still got to do. Especially that Legacy Falcon. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hey, hit that subscribe button. And hit that like button. And check it out. Again, thank you for your time, everybody. I appreciate it. May the force be with you. Goodbye.